Alex Jones here with a breaking Saturday report on some huge developments in the mysterious death of top reporter Michael Hastings, associate editor at the Rolling Stone magazine. Day one when this came out, I said it could have been a high-speed crash. Then when it came out that the engine was blown 60 yards down the road and that he'd emailed friends and family and WikiLeaks saying the FBI is after myself and family, uh, I'm going into hiding, I said, wow, we should look at this and investigate it. And sure enough, witnesses reported an explosion as it drove down the road. Then it went off into the tree. And I've looked at the damage. The car is up against the tree, not rammed into it. And then it comes out he was going to report on NSA spying scandals and more of the bimbos at the Pentagon and was really threatening the power structure. And then said that day, hours before he died, I'm on the run, I'm going off the radar into hiding. And the week before it all happened, he said, they're persecuting the press, they're coming after us. There's the video interview on Infowars.com. This is getting insane. Now, we reported on the email Wednesday night and Thursday and got demonized in New York Magazine and a bunch of others. Well, then, last night, I saw this pop up, and it's also on KTLA-TV. There they are reporting on it. Uh, that indeed, ladies and gentlemen, he was on the run and going into hiding. They can put remote control systems in your car, especially the new Mercedes that drive you off the road. That's on record. But it looks like a car bomb in the dash to me. And I've researched this and I've talked to explosives experts and they concur. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. And the way the police and media said, oh, there's no foul play day one. Think about all the other deaths. Breitbart and uh, the guy exposing CIA drug dealing, Gary Webb and uh, Pat Tillman, it turned out they killed. They got caught lying about that. And by the way, who was over that cover up? General McChrystal. On and on and on. Uh, this guy really angered the power structure. And so now I guess if they blow my car up or your car up and witnesses see it, they'll just have the local corrupt police and media say it's no big deal. Even if you put out an email two hours before and texted WikiLeaks saying, they're after me, they're after me, I'm going into hiding. Boom! But it's no big deal. We'll cover it all tomorrow on the radio in detail. The Sunday show, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, Infowars.com. Follow us on Twitter for breaking news and updates. And I will never commit suicide. I want to say that on record. They have the NDAA, domestic operations, where they say they'll kill U.S. citizens anytime they want secretly. And they now have a new Pulitzer Prize winning book out. We're going to get the author on detailing the giant domestic kill squads they've got. So this is getting very, very serious, folks. This has happened in every other nation. Will we just deny this is going on, like happened to Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia? Our government kills innocent people all over the world. They're caught doing all sorts of crimes. They're gangsters. Be sure and get this report from Infowars.com out to everybody you know, folks. She, we told you so again. And will the corporate whore media go along with this and say there's nothing to see? Move along, move along. That's why they're all losing their viewership and readership, because I've been reading the comments, not just on Infowars, but on other sites, mainstream sites. And no one, I mean like 98% of the comments are not buying this. Everybody smells a giant stinking rat. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. Support the free press, support liberty, or we lose everything.